All right, hey guys. So we just finished recording episode 18 and we were talking and we thought that it might be a good idea to do a little little mini series about resources. Yeah, yeah, we have a lot of resources that we've gathered over the years of working on things. And yeah, and it's nice to just put them in one little place. And yeah. so we're gonna do a little mini series. Um, we're gonna record a little bit of video each week going over some of the resources that we like to use. Yeah, and hopefully it helps you guys in your... Yeah, purposes. so some popular websites or programs that we like to use. I am a real big fan of Incarnate. Yeah, you showed me that one. For yeah, map for map making. making. Yeah. Uh, they have a free version and a paid version. Again, these aren't, uh, none of this is sponsored, it's just programs that we like to use. Uh, yeah, so Incarnate's a good one. Yeah, vulgar, vulgar Lang, that, uh, creating a constructed language. Yeah, so if you're interested in doing, like, your own language, vulgar Lang is a good resource. Yeah, it's a generator, so you could just go random and it'll make you a full one by itself, mm -hmm. or you can go in there and, and tweak it as much as you like. Yeah. So, that's cool. Um, Campfire and World Anvil. Yeah. are pretty much very similar. Uh, I use World Anvil, the free version. And I started with Campfire, actually. But, um, well, I, I guess I use both of them, because World Anvil is what we use for... Uh, for building blank, like, yeah, because it is it is free. They do have a paid services and some features. Um, also, it's web, like it's a web. It's web-based, yeah. so you can just do it on your browser. There's Campfire as well. Yeah, uh, Hero Forge is really fun. Uh, it's for, it's a website that makes custom minis. Um, but it's good even if you're not going to be buying minis to just like if you have a character in mind. Yeah, you can mess around with the poses and stuff, so it's real fun. You can pick, you can customize them quite a bit. And they're always adding new stuff, it's really neat. Um, uh, some good resources for DD is DM's Guild, it's uh, all user content. Yeah. That's where you get some of these modules from. Yeah, like those are official ones, but uh, we have other, other pieces. And I like to take things and like deconstruct them. All, all the time, I'll find something that I think is like kind of like what I'm looking for, and then I'll I'll tear it apart. Uh, Stack Exchange is a good good website for finding, you know, um, yeah, information. We got different channels and stuff. Like there's one on creative writing, and then there's also one on world building as well, like separately. And there's a lot of crossover between the two in the chat. Yeah, uh, TV Tropes. That's a pretty classic one. It's good just for. Um, my favorite way to use it is just take all my favorite whatever it may be, a movie or a book, and then looking at all the tropes that they use, whether uh, consciously or unconsciously. Yeah, uh, Google Earth and Google Maps yeah. um, is uh, good for like figuring out distance and biomes and the way and geography, geography and stuff. Works. And also that truth, like they have the random number generator right in. Yeah, Google. I just googled random number generator today, and it's right on the front page there. Uh, if you need some random numbers, and I really like fantasynamegenerator.com. Uh, they have generators for all different, like D and D, Warcraft, all different kinds of settings, Tolkien, uh, real world, different cultures and stuff. Uh, like anything you can think of, it's on Fantasy Name Generator, uh, and they're really, really cool. It's like one girl that does that. Did you know that? Oh, really? Yeah, she oh. she runs the whole thing, yeah. Um, and what's this next one? Yeah, well, when we were doing some of the more geography stuff, I was really kind of, kind of into biomes, and uh, a couple good websites, if you're interested in a biome, which I mean is like, like a forest, or a, like a coastal, mm -hmm. or a mountain, whatever, right? Uh, there's one called uh, Terrestrial Eco Regions, and that's uh, it's the worldwildlife.org website. And so you can just click on like a desert, or Montane Forest or something. They'll give you some of the characteristics of it. And then the, the other one is, it's a NASA website, but it's earthobservatory.nasa.gov slash bio. And very similar thing, it'll give you like average temperature range and rainfall and stuff. Just so that yeah, you guys get a better idea of how biomes work. Yeah, so that's just a couple things that um, we like to use. Um, some I do, some he does, and we both do. And yeah, this has been, uh, I want to call this like five minute resources or something. Five minute world building resources. Uh, something, we'll workshop the name, we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, so those are a couple cool things that we can you just find online um, that we like to use. So hopefully that helps you guys when you're building your world. Yeah. Okay, thanks guys.